Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I did a video yesterday, and uh, basically God's warning, and it goes on, and the end of the title says you could die, or you may die. Well, listen, one of the viewers, one of our viewers here, Paul, sent me a message. He commented on the video. And I asked his permission to share what he said because what he said was what you would call a case in point of what the video was talking about. He lived it. Listen to this. Pat, I want to tell you something. I was, I was going to get my veterans benefits and the bank had two branches. I normally go to. After I got my benefits, I was going to go to the mall. Before I left the apartment that day, I asked the Holy Ghost, should I go to the mall? He said, no, son, go to the bank closer to downtown. When I looked at my computer, I got a news alert that said two gunmen were in the mall I was going to go to, shooting people. The Holy Ghost said, See, son, this is the reason I told you not to go to the mall. It pays to listen to what the Holy Ghost is telling you. Because if you don't, it could cost you your life. Is that a testimony or what? Look what he got spared. All right. Now, this is something he added after I asked his permission. He said, please let people know if they would stop running their mouths on their cell phones and draw close to Jesus, they would be further along in life. He told me years ago, son, I have the answers to every problem people face, but no one wants to spend time with me. Mm. Now, you may lose close, so-called close friends, but you gain wisdom and protection that man can't give you. Now, let me add my two cents. Thank you so much, Paul, for sharing that. That was phenomenal. This is what we don't get. We think we have to spend our lives on the cell phone. We have to be entertained. We have to be busy darting in, darting out because we don't want to sit still, get restless, and get bored. So we keep moving. But there are times we have to be still. We have to be silent. And we have to commune with God. When you ask God direction, when you ask when you acknowledge him in all your ways, like we talked about in the previous video, you save yourself a lot of heartache, a lot of headache, and many times a lot of harm, undue, unnecessary harm. And that is why God says acknowledge me, not because he's a, a micromanager that's bored and has to be in control he is in control, but he gives us freedom of choice. And he sees the first from the last, the beginning from the end. He knows what lies ahead of you, good, bad, and different. He knows, and he will warn us. And I know you've heard this story before. It's coming to my mind, so I believe God wants me to share it. Once again, I was walking down the street one night. And I heard God speak to me in an audible voice. And it was quite firm in tone. Not matter of fact, firm. Now, I'm on the north side of the street. Nine o'clock at night, just gotten off the bus. Two blocks to my house. On the right side of the street, the south side, there are three young men, young men, working on a car. Now, I didn't recognize them from my area. So, in my mind, either they're fixing their car or they could be ripping it off. I didn't know. I didn't make a choice. 
I just didn't know. So I played the safe route and walked on the left side of the street, the north side. God spoke to me. I mean, when I tell you God will protect you if you have an ear to hear. He spoke to me. Cross over to the other side. Well, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, but Lord, see them guys? I don't know if they're going to cross over to the other side. It's like, wow, what's wrong? I, I don't you know what's going on. What, what, yeah. Cross over to the other side now. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. And I had to cross and walk past those guys who were indeed working on their car, minding their own business. God protected me. When I looked to my left to see what the heck was all the fuss about on that side of the street that seemingly God wanted me to avoid, there was a big black furry, bear-looking, burly dog glaring. I mean, he wasn't just wagging his tail and looking. He was glaring at me with his tail sticking straight. I was like, thank you, Lord. I'm watching the dog now. Now that I know he's there, <laughs> after the warning, after the obedience, I'm looking at the dog while I'm going down the street. And the whole time I'm watching him, he's glaring at me. And I said, now had I crossed the line of that property, I would have been mince me. But God protected me. He spoke. Do you know, I don't hear God's voice that often. He's... You know, it's not one of those things where I say, oh, Lord, should I have a cup of coffee? Can I have some cream in it? Yes, child. I no, I ain't talking about that. I'm not one of those people that hear him all the time. And I walk with him for 30-some-odd years. What I'm saying is when it is necessary, God will speak. When it is necessary, God will warn. I have been warned by God and lost a car in a total totaled out crash because I didn't acknowledge God in all my ways and in spite of all the uneasiness and the warning and the foreboding and everything I felt I ended up losing a car because we were going to get the car insured the very next day one day too late $3,500 right down the drain just like that gone no car for three years. Cabs and buses and walking. All that was unnecessary. God protected me. I did not get hurt. But the car was totaled. It pays. When he says it pays to listen to the Holy Spirit. It pays to acknowledge God in all our ways. He will direct our path. God bless you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much for sharing that nugget of gold.